Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new YouTube video from Gaming Webisodes, and today I will be showing you how to change the code in Excel temporarily. It's, it's really basic, I can show you how to, and it's so if you want to change your, um, what they call it, your smart score over here, um, to like a hundred, a thousand, or your time. Um, so if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to hit, so if we want to select the smart score, scroll over it, go to inspect element, it should be also working Chrome, click it. Okay, now this is F12 developer tools, um, and you scroll down, it looks complicated, it's really not. And this highlighted area right here is what you just selected to inspect. So over here it says current score equals zero. So just hit as HTML. Okay, now let's change this to 100. And as you can see here, there's also some ribbons. And then there's a metals option. Um, so if we go, if we open this in new tab and then we go back I was doing this in math so go back to the skill you already got um, some metals on click it okay see I got all three here um, hit inspect element here You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. Okay, it's loaded in. Now, see where it has all these ribbons? Um, hit edit HTML. You copy all Let's do the individual ribbons. Okay, so hit edit HTML. Copy this ribbon. Okay, now go back to here. Go back to our first F12. So under where it says ribbons, go ahead, edit. Go down the line. Paste it in there. Now when we click out of that, we gave ourselves a ribbon. Um, it's the same it's the same thing for the rest of them um, so um, just over here see the ribbon 2 we're going to do the same thing copy this you want to make sure it looks genuine but, um, like normal IXL would so we go under current Score 100 ribbons. Um, it does have this little space here. I need to figure out how to fix that. I'll get that in a minute. Go ahead and hit inspect. That's so weird. I'm going to shut my mic off and I'll show you the rest. Okay, hello everyone, I'm back from the other part. So we just covered how to do the score. It appears as, um, like this over here. Um, just need a copy of that other rib ribbon over. You should be able to do that yourself. Um, so, um, as far as the co code at all, next I'm gonna show you how to change the time elapsed. So right here, this is the skill you wanna change. And this is one you've already um, got a high score on, so you can copy the ribbons over. And the same thing with medals. You just copy the code and paste it. But do not refresh the page until your parent has seen it to see if you've got a high enough score on it. Because if you refresh it, what will happen is it will just um, scrap it because you're just temporarily editing it. 
so don't do that. Um, what you need to do for the time elapsed is you need to um, just hit inspect element. So let's just get one wrong, for example. You'll say got it. Okay, it starts your timer back up. So if we go into this HTML, it has the time elapsed header right here. You need to click the down arrow. Click it. it tells you your time elapsed. Let's change this to time we'll just keep that and then we'll change this to time and Dollywood okay um our timer should be in here oh here it is this is time elapsed there's the ID click down timer paused right now wait timer so if we go back in here, it changed the title. So if we click here, hit inspect element. Come on. Doesn't like me today. Okay, so Close up the F. No, don't do that. Okay. I just showed my desktop. Yeah, that's my desktop, everyone. Uh, I know, it's just so sad. So, see, it, it won't let me um, reopen it, but. Hit inspect. It should do it. So I pretty much gave you the basic tutorial on how to do this, but you can also do stuff like um, um, see, it kept it for some reason. So we'll just hit inspect element again. Should it give us a 12. Come on. Okay. Now we need to inspect it again. Come on, please work. I'm just gonna hit F12 on your keyboard if you're in an Air Explorer. Go ahead and hit F12. It will it will launch the developer tools. But right now it's not launching it. But before you click this, hit inspect, go into the code, and you can and it should be under the text. You can just hit edit as HTML. And then you can change this to whatever you want. The image up here, you can just change the image URL. Um, okay, it's not responding. Let's recover it. I lose problem in Internet Explorer. I'm sorry. It just makes everything really slow. So it refreshed it. Let's just hit inspect element again. This time it's working. Okay, just change to seventh grade. Um, change this to party time. Okay, we can also change um, the skill. Hope that yes, I did the right one. Okay, so this is prime factorization. That sounds pretty boring. How about we change it to awesome, awesome, cake, we have to change it to awesome cake time. Okay, so we got the awesome cake time right here in between these, this little, um, alligator symbol whatever you call it the h1 so this is awesome cake time now it's awesome mess with the logo it's really funny so click on the ixl logo that shows this right here it shows the url 
this is where you get your image. So, for example, I'll just go over here, type in, for example, Dolly, dollywood.com. Kids really like Dollywood, so I'll go ahead and hit inspect element on this. This loading F12. Okay, now right here. Um, okay, so scroll down until you. Oh, I did this on the full pack. Okay. Let's try this again. Hit inspect element. Okay, it comes up with Dollywood. It just does these themes and the icons. So right here it says the logo. I don't, okay. I don't think it'll work here. But you can see it's kind of the same. So hit the icon home. Logo. So this this doesn't have what I want. I'm just going to go to um, the, um, Wikimedia Commons where they have all all of the um, road traffic signs in the public domain, which means it's free to use for anybody. Um, I'll probably put a link in the description. Probably not. It's not that important. So let's just choose a sign. I'm, I'm going to choose fill load. Probably you can't use the internet, interstate shield. I'll tell you that. Uh, that's under I think copyright and trademark. So let's just say we want someone likes to rollerblade. Okay. Click on the image, more details. Right, let's just do the PNG form. This URL is a PNG, so we do control C or just copy. We go back over here, go into F12, find the Excel logo. Image title, hit edit, then see this URL. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to paste our new one in here. Oh, now we have these weird ribbons. It's just strange. Last time it did the URL. Okay. <laughs> Messed up. Okay. I think I. Oh, I may not have copied it. Okay. That's funny. Wow. What's that? Okay, so we need to edit this. I messed up. Really, really bad. Okay, so now we just have this. It's really weird. It's a title. So, I'll go ahead and refresh it so I can redo that. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. I'll try to you know, bring some better tutorials. But everything I've done with the thumbnail of this video cover is real. I've done it before. I'll show you an example. I think I do it for a period. Okay. Right. No, I did. Okay. I'm sorry if I move really fast here. I'm just trying to show you that everything I did in the thumbnail is legitimate. I did not use a photo ed editor like Photoshop or Inkscape. Um, go ahead and inspect this. Okay. It says welcome, edit it. Um, I'm gonna do no.
it's party time. And then change your name. Hope it'll fit because sometimes these programs are only designed for surnames. Oh, yep, it'll fit. It'll automatically adjust. So you can just customize this. See if you can fool your parents. Really fine. Like, say you spent like 24 hours on here. Oh, I set the values to zero. Wow. <laughs> okay, so not let me open F12 again. So don't I want to use Internet Explorer on this? It's really slow. So you won't let me open it again. It's crappy Internet Explorer. It doesn't like me closing tabs. Okay, so I'll just end the video at this since I can't bring it back up. But you saw where it was right in here. I had my um, timer and such right in this area right here. So go ahead and uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and if you want more to come out. And leave a comment for any other suggestions you have. Um, I'd gladly, gladly appreciate them. That's it in this video and goodbye.